Hey guys, if you like beautiful wine, I guarantee you that you have actually taken some of our wines and blended them together. In fact, some of our most popular wines, say something like the Sangria Rosé. That came about because somebody took the Sangria White, Sangria Red, blended it together, and bam, they wanted that as a wine. That's what we did. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to blend some of our newest wines together. You know, in the past year and a half or so, we've come out with some new cotton candy wines. First of all, we came out with our just regular straight cotton candy wine. This past year, we've come out with some fruit flavored cotton candy wines. We got our peach, we got our lime, and we got our blueberry. Now, if you've not tried these by themselves, definitely try them by themselves first. Your peach tastes like peach, of course, but what it is, it's our red and our white muscadines, and we've taken some peach flavorings and added those in there. So you add that in there, so you get that right off the vine grape muscadine taste, with a nice hint of peach at the end. Now you can mix some of this in your sweet tea. You're gonna have an awesome sweet tea, peach flavored drink. It is great. If you haven't tried that, try that. The next one I'm gonna talk about a little bit is our blueberry, which is personally, it's my favorite of our cotton candy wines, that blueberry cotton candy. Now this is just our red muscadine grapes. So this one, to me, it reminds me most of when I was a kid walking through the woods, picking those grapes right off the vines, popping them in my mouth. But it's like doing that and then right after that popping a blueberry in there because that's what you get on the finish that is that blueberry. Uh, this is also good. I've tried this, um, just full disclosure, taking a little bit of like some Crown Royal and adding a little pop of that in the end. You get that blueberry flavor. That is really, really good. Try that some night. Now, the last one I'm going to talk about, a lot of people are like, oh, lime? What, what the heck's a lime wine? Well, I'll tell you what. This is a lime wine. It's made with our Scuppernong grapes. Scuppernongs, you'll find them all over the South. Most people grow those in their backyard. They tend to be a little bit bigger, juicier, so people really like these if they're growing them in their backyard. But what you get with this is a citrus, kind of a citrus bite on the end there. Really smooth, so you're not tasting exactly lime, but you're getting a little bit of a hint of that lime taste. But it's more of a citrus. It's I, I was amazed. I'll be honest with you. I was really amazed when I tried this. I didn't think I would like it. I really, really did. Try it by itself. But I'll tell you what. The way we like these is blending them together. So let's get into this and let's try it. So first thing I want to do is I want to try the peach and the blueberry together. Because peach and blueberries, I when I think of peaches, honestly, what I think of is I think of either South Carolina or Georgia. Okay? You see a lot of Georgia peaches, a lot of South Carolina peaches. And when I think of blueberries, I think of North Carolina. So we're taking the two Carolinas, a little bit of peach, a little bit of blueberry, blending them together, give a little swirl there, mix that all together really good. And I guarantee you, if you ever had a peach blueberry cobbler, this is what you're going to want to drink with that. My goodness, the smell on that. I can actually smell both that peach and that blueberry in there. That is amazing. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. I get the blueberry first. That's what hits me first, after the grapes, because you're always gonna taste the, that grape first. But after that, that first finish, I get the blueberry. And right after that, that peach really kicks in. That is amazing. I think you guys are really gonna like that. Give that a try. Now, if you have these two at home and you want to try making one of our slushies, we do have our slushies. We got a peach bellini slushie, you can make these at home. And we've got our blueberry freeze. Now, on the back of this, it tells you how to make what wines to use. I suggest trying these two wines using that. I've tried it at the house. It's really good. It's a really, really good summer drink. So give that a shot, too. Now, let's get to that lime, because a lot of you guys are thinking the lime, oh, you're crazy, Frank. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, if you take this lime cotton candy, take a little bit of that, put that in there, and then a little bit of that peach. Now I kind of, I don't mix that one half and half. I do about, I would do about two thirds of that, of that peach and then a little bit of that lime towards the end. Smell that. The lime in there is, that's your predominant smell. I do get that, a little bit of that scuppered on. Now let's give this a taste for that peach. A 
again. On this one now, I get that peach hit me first. And I get a little bit of that smooth citrusy taste towards the end with this lime in there. That is, that's amazing. I think I would do that. That would be really good with any kind of chicken. That's what I would imagine with that. In fact, I would probably mix that together and probably overnight, I put my chicken in there, let that marinate overnight. That would be an awesome chicken breast recipe. So try that out, heck yeah. If you guys think of anything else, put it in the comments below. You know, if we do some of these and you're like, Frank, try this, try this. Put them in the comments below, let us know. Maybe we'll try it. I'll try it anyway. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna move, uh, take the blueberry and the lime and we're gonna mix those together. We're gonna blend those together. Now, I do like to use more of the blueberry on this. So I'm gonna do, let's say, we'll do about two thirds blueberry and about a third lime. Now, here's something else you can do. If you like our slushies or our wine sweeters as we call them, here's what I would do. I would take this blueberry, make that into sweeter and add a little bit of this lime with that. Because when we do have the sweeters out in our sweeter bar, what I like to do is take the blueberry sweeter and the lemon sweeter, and I mix those together, and that's amazing. What you can do though is take that blueberry sweeter and make it with the lime cotton candy, and you would get that citrus taste in there without having to make two different um, sweeters. So give that a shot. Try that. I like that. I really do. Okay, let's give this a taste though. Smell it first. Now on this one, again, I get, I, I do, I get more of that lime smell with a blueberry hint at the end on that. So let's give this one a taste. Here we go. Now that one, that, the blueberry is more predominant than that. It definitely is. After, like I said, those grapes right off the vine, that's the first thing you get. Then you get that blueberry. A little bit of that citrus taste hits you at the end. I like that. I like that a lot. That's good. Now, last thing I do, the lime by itself, even though the sugar content is the same as everything else here, that lime finish on that gives it a little less of a sugary taste. So if you want to add a little bit of that sugary taste to this, maybe take the lime and mix that with the original cotton candy. Because this original cotton candy has a very sweet taste to it. You get a vanilla hint in the aftertaste on that cotton candy. And that's kind of what gives it that cotton candy taste. I get more of the, uh, the cotton candy smell in this. So let's check out the taste. Here we go, cheers guys. Yeah, you definitely get the finish on that is that citrusy taste, but it's a smooth citrusy taste. But adding that original cotton candy definitely gives you more of a sweetness and you do get that vanilla, kind of vanilla taste in there, which that reminds me of that cotton candy. It's, that is really good, I like that a lot. Now, again, if you guys can think of anything you would do with these different, maybe you would mix them all together and make some kind of recipe with it, make a marinade with these. Try some stuff out. Let us know the comments down below. Say, hey, Frank, you're nuts. I didn't like that one. I like this one. Tell me what you like. Tell us what you didn't like. Tell us the different things you would do. Whatever you do, try these out. And you guys stay safe. I'll see you on the other side. This is Frank.